Hi, it's Dwyer, September the 9th, 2020. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I already have a video up. I've already called my pick on this fight. The name of the video is Dwyer 3-26-20, Vasily Lomachenko versus Teofimo Lopez. I like Lomachenko big in this fight. In my opinion, he's simply too fluid. He fights too fast. He has the better reflexes than Teofimo Lopez. He's the better athlete, even though there's an age gap than Teofimo Lopez. I believe he has exactly the style to destabilize a counterpuncher. Let me also point out too, it's time here to just talk about greatness for a second. When you first look at Teofimo Lopez, he looks like Floyd Mayweather in the ring. Precision counters, right? Power shots accuracy. He looks like Mayweather. But people need to understand that part of Mayweather's foundation, in fact, it's who he is above everything else in the ring, was incredible defense. Right? Mayweather was a guy who could do things defensively that I don't believe Teofimo Lopez could do. Right, so, you look at Lopez against Nagatani, he's getting hit with looping punches and things like that. Not Mayweather, right? Mayweather fought tough guys who were known to bully people in the ring. Right, Carlos Baldemir, take a look at that fight. And Mayweather decides that he's not gonna go over by the ropes. He's going to have the fight stop in the middle of the ring for several rounds. And he has the bully right on his shoulder. Right? Mayweather didn't have to throw punches to win some rounds. I'm sure the judges were looking at Mayweather at times and were thinking, man, is the other guy ever going to hit Floyd with anything flush? Now, Teofimo Lopez got the offensive part of Mayweather's game. He's not close to Mayweather defensively. More importantly, Mayweather, freak athlete. When I first saw Mayweather, he had hair trigger reflexes. Right? Hair trigger reflexes. He's fighting a very good champ. Wow, his name escapes me. The first champ he fought were Mayweather, Hinaro Hernandez. Mayweather walks in the ring wearing a, WCB, uh, a WBC belt, even though he wasn't the champion. And you'll notice in that fight, Mayweather's so fast that Mayweather is able to just step out the pocket, come back in the pocket, continue the combination. Right now, Lopez doesn't have that level of reflexes. Right? He just doesn't. <coughs> In other words, Lopez is a replica of Floyd Mayweather. He's not Floyd. Mayweather ran into trouble when he fought guys who would run red lights. In other words, guys who would come to him with a lot of movement and who would be willing to dive into the pocket even when the waters were choppy. Mayweather, in an interview, was once asked, who's the toughest opponent you fought? And Mayweather, this was before he fights Maidana, right? But I believe the answer is the same today if you look at the film. 
Mayweather said Emmanuel Augustus, who didn't have the great record. Right, let's remember, Floyd dismantles several Hall of Famers in his career. He mentions Emmanuel Augustus. That's because Emmanuel Augustus moved a bit too much. Right, Augustus kept the counterpuncher busy. Mayweather was a pot shotter, just like Teofimo Lopez. He wasn't a combination puncher. He wasn't Ray Leonard, right? Combination punchers think differently. So Mayweather couldn't handle the volume, couldn't handle Augustus just continually crashing the pocket, continually moving, right? But there was a talent gap. Nobody was more accurate than Floyd Mayweather. And even a Mayweather who was having problems systematically deconstructed Emmanuel Augustus. Here, Teofimo Lopez is going to have problems. Even though Lomachenko is in his 30s, and let's remember, this guy has seen it all. He's a two-time Olympic gold medalist. Two-time. Lomachenko is one of the sport's best athletes. He's fought guys who hit at least as hard as Teofimo Lopez. Look at the Nicholas Walters fight. And he's completely dismantled guys like that. He moves so well that guys who are accustomed to bullying you, who are accustomed to controlling the spacing and pacing of a fight, just give up. He has Nicholas Walters up on the ropes. Loma moves so well that counterpunching power puncher type guys don't see an opening before Loma imposes his will on them. Loma moves so well that sometimes when he gets deep in the pocket, he doesn't even punch you with any ferocity. It's even more disheartening than that. He just taps you a few times, lets you know, hey, I'm so close to you, I can hit you three or four times with my left hand, and you can't do a thing about it. Lopez simply doesn't fight as fast. He's simply not prepared. Excuse me, Lopez simply is not prepared for the ambidexterity, the movement, the defense, the speed at which Lomachenko is going to come at him. So let's talk about, one, a fight we've been deprived of, right? It's just one of those happenstances of history, but the kind of guy who would give Lomachenko problems is someone who's also a freak athlete. Right, who is going to change the terms of the exchange because he can match Loma in hand speed. He can match Loma in terms of his legs. Right, it's a shame that Manny Pacquiao is now in his 40s. Right, Pacquiao is one of the few people in boxing who might be able to slow Loma down, right? Might be able to say to Loma, okay, if we're going to fight this fast, if we're going to act like this is the Autobahn, I'll be your Huckleberry. Let's see you dodge my straight left. Understand, you have to throw a punch that has ring coverage. It has to have an element of surprise. It can't be a hook like Lopez threw on Comey, right? It, it has to be fast and straight. And a Manny Pacquiao southpaw would have been interesting and against Lomachenko. Understand, I feel that 
Gavante Davis would lose to Lomachenko because Lomachenko's already fought Davis types. Right, guys who are alpha, who have a big punch, who then find out that they just can't maneuver against Lomachenko. Right, Lomachenko is fighting at twice the pace of someone like Gervonta Davis. I don't think Leo Santa Cruz, who's about to fight Davis, who in my opinion is about to lose to Davis, I don't think Leo Santa Cruz hits hard enough. I think he's too formulaic. I don't think he has enough ring coverage. I think he's too obvious. You know where to find him. He doesn't move that well. He's around the pocket. I don't think he would give Lomachenko problems. Lomachenko's already met Gary Russell, who's about to fight Devin Haney. And Lomachenko beat him up. Understand. Gary Russell might have the fastest hands in the sport, right? There are very few guys who you look at and you say, my God, look at the hand speed. Gary Russell is one of them, right? To me, the young guy with the best shot on Vassal Lomachenko would be Shakur Stevenson who has already sparred with him. There's a great article. It's from yesterday on BoxingScene.com where Shakur Stevenson talks about the sparring session and talks about how the secret to Lomachenko is his legs. Right now, Shakur Stevenson's one of boxing's more interesting people because he's also hopped in the ring with, in my opinion, the best in the sport, pound for pound, who's kind of like a big brother to Shakur Stevenson, Terrence Crawford. So Stevenson, who's unbeaten, who's been a champion, who we've seen on TV against opposition that hasn't been Lomachenko quality, hasn't been Crawford quality, is actually a student of the sport who's privately sparred with both guys. Now he talked about the secret of Lomachenko being his legs. Stevenson likes room. I'm sure Stevenson noticed that Lomachenko is a guy who will crowd you, who will get inside your comfort zone. Right, certainly that's a Terrence Crawford strategy. Stevenson's a better athlete. We have to make hard judgments on this site. Stevenson's a better athlete than Teofimo Lopez. Stevenson has a pretty good jab, and that's crucial against Lomachenko because you're going to have to do something to establish spacing. Right now, I don't think Stevenson is completely ready for Lomachenko right now, right? But if you read the comments in yesterday's Boxing Scene article, the interview of Stevenson, even though Stevenson is very respectful, points out that they both fight under the top rank banner, right? Calls Lomachenko one of his team. Right, Stevenson believes he can beat Lomachenko today. Now, as we see these fights unfold, Lomachenko against Teofimo Lopez, I like Lomachenko in that one. Gervonta Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz, I like Davis in that one. Right, just keep in the back of your head that although Lomachenko, who's a big name in boxing, has other roads he can travel, right? I'm sure Gervonta Davis would leap at the chance to fight Lomachenko, right? Lomachenko is the ultimate litmus test at 135. Fighters who believe they're there want to fight him. In my opinion, the most viable opponent against Lomachenko right now 
would be Shakur Stevenson. Right? Stevenson's seen him. Stevenson's a better athlete than the others. Right? Sim simply put. He's, he's a better athlete than the others. He's quick twitch. In other words, he has here trigger punches. He has the jab. What concerns me with Stevenson against Loma is Loma can fight low. I'm not sure if Stevenson's center of gravity allows him to. Understand, there is an age gap. Right? Sooner or later, because this is boxing, because this is not the heavyweight division, because guys age quickly at lightweight, Lomachenko is going to start to slow down. A young lion who's a freak athlete with skills, with a jab, who understands that Loma is more than the combinations, the ambidexterity, the spacing, the volume, the athleticism, that Loma has great legs. Right, a young guy with that understanding and that ability like Shakur Stevenson could give Loma problems. Let's watch how this progresses. Let's even hope, and I know what I'm about to say is gonna sound comical, Manny Pacquiao has a demanding day job. He is a member of the Philippine no government. Right? But understand, Manny can lose weight. Manny's comfortable in the low 140s. <coughs> Lomachenko is a guy who wants to leave no stone unturned. <clears throat> That's why he's fighting Teofimo Lopez who's unbeaten, right? That's why he fought Rigondeau, who was unbeaten at the time. That's why he's already fought Gary Russell, right? Lomachenko is fighting tough guys, fight after fight. Let's hope that folks think this through and realize that even a great like Manny Pacquiao isn't going to fight forever. That it's amazing that Pacquiao is already in his 40s. Right? Give us a catch weight. Or, if Loma really wants to dare history. Right? Have the fight tabled in. At 143. Understand, <clears throat> as Henry Armstrong figured out generations ago, you don't have to gain the weight especially if you're <clears throat> a slick fighter like Lomachenko who's relying on speed, angles, volume, different stances. You don't have to gain the weight to fight the guy at the higher weight. Loma could sign the contract and say, hey, I'll fight you at 143. Stay where he is. Fight Manny Pacquiao. If he dodges that straight left, easier said than done. For 12 rounds, he has a chance of winning that fight. Right? Let's hope the powers that be figure out that with superstar fighters in their 30s and 40s down at this weight class, if we're going to get those matchups, we need to get them now. Father Time waits for no one. So, I think Lomachenko beats Teofimo Lopez. Quite frankly, I think Lomachenko beats Gravante Davis. I think Lomachenko Shakur Stevenson's an interesting fight. If Stevenson continues on the trajectory, the path that his career has taken, where he's improving, behind the scenes he's fighting the best, <laughs> right? If he continues on that path, and if he can figure out how to change his center of gravity, so if he's fighting Loma and Loma goes low, he can bend at the waist and go low. Right? And if he can figure out some punch that could surprise a guy crashing the pocket, 
I think Shakur Stevenson, who I consider to be a better athlete than the other guys, would pose the most meaningful challenge to Lomachenko. Let's talk about another guy, too. <clears throat> you know, Loma haunts Gary Russell. If anyone tracks Gary Russell's interviews, right, and Gary Russell, I believe, is going to beat Devin Haney. We'll do a, a video on that. One man's opinion. But you'll notice in interviews where Gary Russell's talking about other subjects, other opponents, he'll casually mention that he wants the Lomachenko rematch. Right? I think Gary Russell, who has faster hands than Lomachenko, has more experience. He's been champ for five years. <coughs> has more experience than Teofimo Lopez, for example. I think he would be an interesting challenge for Lomachenko. Let's just say Lomachenko has options. I think a guy with Gary Russell's hand speed, ring savvy, would be tough for Lomachenko. I think the guy he, Russell fought, King Tug, would be interesting for Lomachenko. I think Shakur Stevenson would have a shot on Lomachenko. I think Lomachenko beats Gravante Davis, Teofimo Lopez, and if Leo Santa Cruz pulls the Gravante Davis upset, Leo Santa Cruz. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.